Looking for the best handheld GPS devices in 2024? Garmin is dominating this category with top-notch options. I've selected the very best Garmin models, from a large screen navigator to a compact yet powerful unit, and a budget-friendly pick that doesn't skimp on features. We've got you covered. Our top choice might be exactly what you're after, so stay tuned. And if you find this helpful, please like the video, subscribe for more, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the details and prices are in the description. So let's get started. Number 5. Garmin Montana 700i Best Large Screen Handheld GPS Device Garmin Montana 700i is a rugged, feature-packed handheld GPS device boasting a massive 5-inch touchscreen and built-in in-reach technology, making it perfect for any outdoor adventure. First off, the most striking feature of the Montana 700i is its massive 5-inch touchscreen. This large display makes it incredibly easy to view maps and navigate through menus, especially when you're on the move. It's perfect for those who need a clear and detailed view of their surroundings, whether you're overlanding, hiking, or on a road trip. But with that big screen comes a larger size and weight. Weighing in at 410 grams, it's definitely heftier than other handheld GPS devices, like the Garmin GPS Map 66 series, which weighs 241 grams. So if you're counting every gram in your backpack, this might not be the ideal choice. However, if you don't mind the extra weight, the benefits might outweigh this drawback. One of the standout features of the 700i is the built-in in-reach technology. This means you have two-way satellite messaging and SOS capabilities right at your fingertips. No matter where you are in the world, you can send and receive messages and call for help if you need it. This is a game changer for anyone venturing into remote areas without reliable cell coverage. The device is built to last, meeting MIL STD810 standards for thermal, shock, water, and vibration resistance, so it's designed to withstand the harsh conditions you might encounter on your adventures. When it comes to mapping and navigation, the Montana 700i doesn't disappoint. It comes preloaded with rootable topoactive maps and includes city navigator maps, which are great for turn-by-turn -turn navigation on roads. The direct-to-device bird's-eye satellite imagery allows you to download satellite images directly to the device via Wi-Fi, which is incredibly useful for scouting out trails and landmarks that might not appear on standard topo maps. However, it's worth noting that the touchscreen might not perform as well in heavy rain, although Garmin has released a firmware update with a rain mode to address this issue. Battery life is around 18 hours in GPS mode, which is decent but not outstanding compared to other devices like the Garmin GPS Map 67i, which offers longer battery life. Speaking of the GPS Map 67i and the InReach Mini 2, if you're primarily hiking and weight is a concern, those might be better options. The 67i, for example, is lighter and has a faster processing speed and more internal memory. The InReach Mini 2 is even lighter and great for minimalist hikers, but it lacks the large touchscreen and detailed mapping capabilities of the Montana 700i. Another point to consider is the track management on the 700i. While it's functional, it could be improved. You can't easily display all your tracks on the map at once. You have to enable them individually, which can be time-consuming if you have a lot of tracks. In conclusion, the Garmin Montana 700i is an excellent choice if you're looking for a rugged, versatile GPS device with comprehensive mapping and communication features. It's particularly well-suited for use in vehicles like trucks, ATVs, or for activities where you can mount the device and keep it charged. However, if you're an ultralight backpacker or need longer battery life, you might want to consider other options. Number 4. Garmin InReach Mini 2 Best Compact Handheld GPS Device Garmin InReach Mini 2 is a compact and lightweight handheld GPS device designed for off-grid adventurers who don't want to sacrifice connectivity. First off, the size is incredible. It's tiny and lightweight, making it perfect for any adventure without weighing you down. I mean, at just 3.5 ounces, you can clip it into your backpack and forget it's even there. But don't let the size fool you. This little gadget is loaded with features. One of the standout features is the two-way texting capability. You can send and receive messages from anywhere in the world, even without cell service. Whether you're checking in with family or, corner or coordinating with your team in the field, this feature is a game changer. 
Plus, you can text directly from the device or pair it with your smartphone for a more familiar typing experience. Speaking of smartphones, the Mini 2 now uses the Garmin Explorer app, which I find way more intuitive than the old EarthMate app. The interface has been revamped with widget glances, making it easier to navigate through menus and access information quickly. It's a small tweak, but it makes a big difference when you're out in the elements and need to access something fast. Now let's talk about the battery life. Garmin claims up to 14 days with a 10-minute tracking interval, and from my experience, that's pretty accurate under clear skies. In mixed canopy conditions, you get around 200 hours, which is impressive. However, in heavily forested areas, the battery life will drop to about 30 hours, so keep that in mind if you're heading into dense forests. Navigation is another area where the Mini 2 shines. It supports Mini GNSS, including Galileo and Baidu, in addition to GPS. This means quicker position fixes, which is crucial when you're trying to send a message or need accurate navigation. The new trackback feature automatically tracks your movement, so you can retrace your steps without any hassle. There's even a digital compass, which, while basic, is handy in a pinch. On the flip side, the Mini 2 does have a small screen and antenna. Typing messages directly on the device can be a bit clunky due to the limited screen size. Also, while the battery life is improved from the original Mini, it's still not as good as some of the larger devices out there. So if you plan on extended trips without the possibility of recharging, you might need to consider this. Comparing it to other devices like the Garmin InReach Messenger or the Zolio, the Mini 2 stands out for its blend of portability and functionality. The Messenger might have a bigger battery and antenna, but the Mini 2 offers navigation features that the Messenger lacks. As for the Zolio, while it's great for seamless messaging across cellular and satellite networks, it doesn't provide the same level of on-device functionality, especially when it comes to navigation and emergency features. In terms of emergency messaging, the Mini 2 excels. It offers interactive SOS, allowing you to communicate back and forth with rescue services, providing critical information about your situation. This two-way communication can be a lifesaver, literally. Just remember, you'll need a paid subscription to use these satellite features. So is the Garmin InReach Mini 2 worth it? If you're looking for a compact device that offers reliable satellite communication, solid navigation features, and decent battery life, then absolutely. It's not perfect, but the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks, especially for those who need a dependable device in remote areas. Number 3. Garmin eTrex SE, Best Budget Handheld GPS Device Launched a year ago, Garmin eTrex SE takes a nice spot in the entry-level category of handheld GPS. While not the cheapest, this is one of the better placed and more capable budget devices. The device is intended to stick with the essentials and do them well. There aren't many frills and features here, but it's not an underpowered unit either, and one of the areas where it shines is battery life. Working with two AA batteries, the device can stay in action for up to 168 hours in standard mode, and Garmin claims it can stay running for 1800 hours in expedition mode. That's significantly better battery performance than previous models of the eTrex series. Garmin launched the eTrex SE along with the Garmin GPS Map 67i in 2023, and both models have significantly improved battery performance, showing that Garmin is doing things right. Another relevant factor to the battery life and usage of this device is the display. eTrex SE uses a 2.2-inch high-resolution display. This is a transflective monochrome display, so it shows only black and white colors. It's remarkably sharp and fairly bright, which means that information stays visible even in bright outdoors. The technology also makes the display go easy on the battery, allowing the device to run for a long time. The device is pretty impressive with setting waypoints, tracking location, and navigation features. Its multi-GNSS support works with several global satellite navigation systems, including GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, Galileo, and QCSS. Users can extend these features by connecting their smartphone to the handheld GPS. The Garmin Explore app provides features like weather, trip planning, mapping, wireless software updates, and geocaching live. Speaking of software updates, one of the things missing in the package is a cable. You'll need to purchase a compatible USB-C cable separately if you intend to connect the eTrex SE to your computer. For many users, this is an expected feature, 
and buying a cable separately can be quite a hassle. Other notable features include Bluetooth for wireless connectivity, IPX7 waterproofing, and 28 megabytes memory. Memory is on the lower side of things, but it can work well for the capabilities of this device. Overall, the Garmin eTrex SE is a budget-friendly handheld GPS with reasonable features, a long battery life, and good performance. Number 2. Garmin GPS Map 67i Best Premium Handheld GPS Device Garmin GPS Map 67i is very likely the best handheld GPS available in the market today. The device has remarkably good features, accuracy, battery life, and user experience. By appearance and form factor alone, you'll notice that the Garmin GPS Map 67i is a spitting image of the older model, the 66i. The overall design, dimensions, and appearance are all the same between these models. The most notable visible difference between the two models is the text just over the screen on these devices. For one model, this text reads GPS Map 66i, while for the 67i, the text simply reads GPS Map. Even the user interface is pretty much the same, although that's not that big of a deal, considering Garmin has stuck with the same interface for several years now. As you can guess, the difference between the 67i and older models lies in the chipset and performance. Garmin GPS Map 67i is a more advanced system with better accuracy, better performance, and a significantly longer battery life. And the battery life is pretty impressive here. The battery can last 165 hours in the 10-minute tracking mode and up to 425 hours with 30-minute tracking in expedition mode. Playing around with GPS and tracking settings to make it more battery friendly could make it last even longer, especially with in reach mode disabled. On average, this performance is almost four to five times better than previous models like the 66i. It's also rather quick to charge, thanks to the USB C charging. The device has a bright 3 inch TFT display. It remains visible in sunlight and offers good resolution. This is not a touchscreen, though, and the device largely operates through the buttons at the bottom of the display. This is kind of useful if you're wearing gloves and don't want to deal with touchscreens getting difficult to use. However, operating it through buttons can be time consuming, especially if you intend to write custom text messages. Nevertheless, Garmin does offer preset text messages and straightforward location sharing, so texting isn't all that difficult. The GPS device can handle two-way texting and location sharing through the Iridium satellite network. It also comes in handy if you're in a tough spot and need help. Pressing the SOS button can take users to the Garmin Emergency Response Center, though that requires an active subscription. It can also connect to your smartphone and work with the Garmin app. Other features include Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 16GB onboard memory, room for a micro SD card, and multi-band GNSS support and sensor. Overall, this is a fantastic handheld GPS that goes fairly beyond its predecessor in performance without forcing a big change in design. Number 1. Garmin eTrex 32X Our Top Pick Garmin eTrex 32X is a compact handheld GPS that combines simplicity with solid performance. First off, the eTrex 32X is impressively small and lightweight, weighing in at just around 5 ounces with batteries. This means it won't weigh you down whether you're hiking, biking, or exploring off-road. Its rugged design ensures it can withstand the elements, so you can rely on it in various outdoor conditions. One of the standout features is the inclusion of a 3-axis electronic compass and a barometric altimeter. These tools enhance its navigation capabilities, allowing for more accurate positioning even when you're not moving. The barometric altimeter provides precise elevation data, which is crucial for hikers tackling varying terrains. The device comes preloaded with Garmin's topoactive maps, offering detailed topographic information and routable trails and roads. This is a significant upgrade from previous models and means you can use it straight out of the box without needing additional map downloads. The maps are based on open street maps, providing better trail coverage than before. Now let's talk about the display. The eTrax 32X features a 2.2 inch sunlight readable color screen with a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels. While the screen is on the smaller side, the clarity and readability in bright conditions are commendable. It's easy to see your maps and data without straining your eyes, which is a big plus when you're on the move. When it comes to battery life, this GPS doesn't disappoint. It runs on two AA batteries, offering up to 25 hours of use. This is ideal for multi-day trips where charging options are limited. Plus, since it uses standard batteries, it's easy to carry spares or replace them during your journey. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. 
the user interface feels dated, reminiscent of old flip phones from the late 90s. Navigating through menus with the joystick can be a bit tedious, especially if you're wearing gloves. Also, the device lacks modern connectivity features like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and the USB port is the older mini USB type. This means transferring data requires a cable connection to a computer, which might not be convenient for everyone. The internal memory is another area where the eTrex 32X falls short. With 8GB of storage, most of it is occupied by the preloaded maps, leaving little room for additional maps or data. If you plan on adding more content, you'll need to invest in a microSD card. Comparing it to other devices, the eTrex 32X stands out for its reliability and ruggedness. Unlike smartphones, it's built to handle rough conditions without the risk of damage or battery drain from other apps. While it's more basic than the higher-end Garmin GPS Map 66i, it offers essential features at a fraction of the cost. It's also more advanced than the eTrex 22X, thanks to the added compass and altimeter. In conclusion, the Garmin eTrex 32X is a solid choice for those who want a dependable and straightforward GPS device. It excels in delivering the essentials without unnecessary complexity. If you can overlook its outdated interface and limited connectivity, it offers great value for its price point and is a worthy contender among the top handheld GPS devices. So what do you think? Which of these is the best handheld GPS for you? Or do you think another GPS device is better? Tell us in the comments below. For more suggestions and reviews, click on the videos appearing now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.